Hello and welcome back to the fourth episode of my series of zodiac signs in the convention of Horus. Sagittarius is the ninth sign of the zodiac, a constellation already known in the antiquity, depicting a centaur, half man, half horse with the archet bow and arrow. Its origins can be sought from the Sumerians who saw the god of war in it. The period in which Sagittarius reigned preceded the winter solstice, thus represented the psychic energy that was to help in achieving coherence and synthesis, enlightenment and the inner asceticism. This sign was considered the emblem of philosopher, prophet and perfect man, where the combination of the body, horse, soul, torso and mind, arrow, was harmonious combination. In the Middle Ages it was also a symbol of Christ and White Knight known from the Apocalypse. I did not want to duplicate the image of the Sagittarius as a centaur, although I really like these magical beings. The White Rider from the Apocalypse speaks to the convention of horror. And here I ask my friend Przemek for help in interpretation because different sources give different answers and Przemek reached for the Greek Bible and words that are used there literally may of course lose some meaning in the translation so the writer white beautiful like daybreak shiny but false? My current victims are Monster High Nightmare Horse and Monster Hyde create a monster vampire boy. I started my work already in November. Unfortunately, as I mentioned in the previous movie, Home Hospital causes that I had to postpone creative work for later. In this project I focus on the modification of the horse construction. I really wanted him to look realistically and at the same time a bit grim. So I've changed the position of the head. I also changed the position of the front leg. I wanted it to be lifted up. I also changed the position of the ears. Generally I hoped that my modification would make this horse have a more dynamic, battle-ready and proud pose. Individual parts of the body corrected using a boxy sculpt. I 
I'll try to smooth it and polish it with a mini grinder. I painted it with acrylic paint using an airbrush. I've made the tail from white alpaca with a touch of silk. To make armor I used white foam, 3D glue, white acrylic paint, mod podge, brocade, As for our rider, well, this time I only modified his face. Initially, I wanted to modify only using a mini grinder. Unfortunately, the device that I have is too heavy, which results in fact that I cannot precisely do my job. So I had to build up what I broke down with epoxy scoot. I smoothed the dried out head and painted it with acrylic paint using a white brush. I wanted his appearance to not be unambiguous. However, I tried to refer to the description that my friend Przemek prepared for me. That's why his face is pale and his eyes are almost dead, yet shiny too.
For the armor, I use the same method as for our stallion. Long hair. I wanted him to look very majestic. I am very interested in your opinion. What do you associate my white rider with? Is it for you the embodiment of good? Or maybe, do you see in it rather an antichrist or pestilence? Be sure to write me in the commentary under the video. And now, thank you for your attention and see you soon. Bye! <laughs>